my god. Oh wow. Oh my gosh, that keeps getting better. When I suck the juice, it was like the cherry on top. This thing has so much flavor. our channel we are in downtown Miami and me and Alfonso are starving and we are in the mood for something fresh something tasty something authentic and something super delicious what do you think that is it is Peruvian food so I'm gonna show you guys my favorite Peruvian restaurant but we've never been to the one in downtown Miami we always go to the one in Aventura this is ceviche 105 again my favorite ultimate Peruvian restaurant I'm gonna show you guys what this food is all about let's go Okay guys, do you feel the vibe in here? There is so much energy. There is like salsa music playing. It is hot and it is beautiful. They even have like trees hanging from uh, the roof. They got families. They got delicious looking food. Oh my God, the smell is so good. I don't even know what to order because I love everything on this menu, but we are gonna order the most authentic things. I can't wait to show you guys. Okay guys, so we placed our order and you are going to be just blown away. We got the best platter in this place, okay? I was telling the waiter how we ordered um, like a three ceviche within the other restaurant that we, that we did a video on. And he said, you gotta see this platter. It is full, it's got so much seafood. Guys, I don't even remember how much like seafood there is, but there is a lot, I can't wait to show you. And then we got a hot dish, we're gonna get a arroz con pollo. And at this restaurant, they offer you white meat or dark meat. We got the dark meat and this um, arroz, if I'm saying that right, is with a green cilantro rice. And I love this rice. I've actually made it at home because I Googled it. You put lime, you put cilantro, garlic, water, salt. I think it was actually pretty simple, but this food is gonna be so, so delicious, guys. I can't wait to show you. So guys, our waiter just brought a little appetizer here. This is on the house. Um, now, as you can see, there are plantain chips, there's yuca chips, and there is uh, Peruvian corn here, and it's called canchai. Cancha. Cancha, cancha. <laughs> so it canchita. is like canchita. And then over here we have uh, some sort of a Peruvian mint sauce that you dip it into. Super delicious, guys. I'm gonna go straight for the plantain chip. Salted perfectly. I think it was wakatai. 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 Ooh. 
Mmm, that is creamy. And it's very minty too. It's almost like a, tastes like a mayo. Mmm, a mayo with like mint. Super tasty, a little bit of garlic. Oh, that is so good. And we got some yucca chips. I don't even think I've ever had yucca chips before. Right here. I've had yucca fries. And in Peru, they have like the most selection of potatoes. I forget the exact amount, but there's like hundreds of different types of potatoes in Peru. Okay, let's try it. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I like this one better than the plantain. Mmm. That's so good. The yucca is more thin. It's almost like like seriously like a chip and it's salty i'm spitting all over myself because <laughs> it's so good and this uh wakatai is woo. Mm. wow really good appetizer guys you guys the platter i can't wait to see it you're gonna love it guys this amazing seafood platter has arrived take a look at this deliciousness look at the like fog coming out of there <laughs> that is so crazy i love it look at the lobster it's even got gold on the lobster oh my gosh that's crazy Woo! so fancy i love it wow look at this peruvian like deliciousness Wow, guys. Did you guys see the, the gold on the lobster here? There is gold on this lobster. <laughs> wow, guys. So I, I think that right over here we have calamari. We have some shrimp over here. We have lobster. We have fresh ceviche. I have to ask our waiter what this one is. And... Okay, he's going to bring it down. Okay. Do you want to break it down? Yes, of okay. course. Okay, so right over here, we have the ceviche of the day. It's going to have fresh corvina fish with a little sliced scallops, some shrimp, lobster sashimi, and crispy calamari. We're going to garnish that with a little choclo and sweet potato puree. We're going to follow that with thinly sliced hamachi. It's going to be thinly sliced yellowtail tuna. We're going to marinate that with a ginger and soy sauce, crispy wontons, and some onions to top it off. Here we have the thinly sliced uh, fresh catch of the day. We're gonna marinate that with the ají amarillo and leche de tigre. We're gonna garnish that with some crispy uh, canchitas. And we're gonna follow that with some conchas a la chalaca, which are gonna be uh, some scallops, fresh baked scallops, with a little chalaquita sauce, which is gonna be diced onions, tomatoes, lime juice, and we're gonna top it off with chipotle aioli, guys. Please enjoy. What do you recommend I start with? So, I'm gonna... We're going to break it down right here. We're going to start with the ceviche. Uh -huh. We're going to grab this rocoto leche de tigre. Uh -huh. And we're going to just pour it all over the ceviche. Oh, wow. That looks good. I would recommend grabbing that spoon, just mixing everything in there, all those flavors, all those textures, yeah. and just enjoy. Wow. Thank you so much. Oh, my gosh, guys. That looks so good. I am so excited for this Peruvian feast. It's going to be amazing. So guys, our waiter's gonna crack open the claws and we're gonna see how it happens. <laughs> Yes, exactly. I would just mix all those flavors and just kind of combine it and just enjoy it. Yeah, absolutely. What is this little white thing here? That's a Peruvian corn. It's called choclo. Choclo. It's uh, nice and crunchy, sweet. It's delicious. I love it. So you would mix that with the ceviche? Well. Absolutely. Just grab a bite, grab some leche de tigre sauce with that. Maybe grab some calamari for some texture. Absolutely. There's no right way. You know, there's no... Just enjoy it. So Peruvian food has a lot of influences. So can you just tell us a bit about that? 
<laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Um, as far as I, I, I was told, um, there's a lot of Japanese influence, a lot of Chinese influence, Italian influences. Mm -hmm. So, which is why we have the tiraditos, sashimis, raw mm -hmm. fish preparations, uh, a lot of stir-fried items as well. Yeah. I even saw pasta. Do you guys do that? We, do. we have a Peruvian style uh, pesto sauce, oh. which is going to be cilantro based with a little basil, spinach, amazing flavor. And then we're going to pair that with like a grilled ribeye. You can never go wrong with that. Wow. That looks awesome. And the manager came over and recommended this as the last dish. That's going to be more like a, an explosion of flavor. So you have a little bit of a sesame oil, truffle oil, soy, ginger. You have an explosion of flavors. Wow. And then we're going to finish it off with the fruit that it's garnished with, which is called Yamamomo. This one. It's like a Japanese uh, raspberry. Uh, wow. It's going to be like a palate cleanser. Again, an explosion of flavor and then we finish it off with the Yamamomo. Do you just like take a scoop out? Exactly. We're going to take a spoon of the fish with a little of that, with a little sauce, yeah. a little bit of texture with the crispy wontons, the onions, and just enjoy. Wow. There we are, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. This is a, like, um, a show at the same time when you order this food and it is so fresh. Guys, this is why I love Peruvian food. We are in for a huge treat. Okay guys, so we are gonna jump straight into this side over here. We are gonna try the calamari. Look how crispy that is. Perfectly coated. Very, very nice. Oh wow. Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. The coating on there is perfect. And it's the perfect like saltiness. And then the octopus is so soft. You know who likes this too is little Alfonso. Little Alfonso loves calamari. Remember you had calamari last time, Alfonso? You wanna try it? This calamari is so, so good. <laughs> Crispiness. That is so good, guys. And that is just the calamari. Over here, we have the sea bass. Take a look. It looks like it even has a nice little flower on it. We poured a bunch of this orange, or sorry, yeah, orange sauce. I forget what he said. It was very traditional though. I'm gonna dive it into the lime juice at the bottom. Mmm. 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 Oh my gosh, that Peruvian like cow flavor is just bursting in this broth. It is so limey, so salty and so fresh. You don't taste that fishiness. This is why, like, I'm not a super big fan of fish, but when I'm at Ceviche 105 and it's Peruvian, I am 100% in. Oh my gosh. It's like a cloud. It is so fresh. Oh my gosh, guys. That is amazing. Over here, we have some sort of a corn. Like, he said it was a Peruvian corn. You guys can let me know in the comments below what exactly the right name is. And then it has some sort of a, a sweet potato sauce. Oh my gosh! That is so interesting! Oh my gosh, look at This uh, sweet potato has like that uh, cinnamon flavor in it. But these little circles are like so crunchy and like full of uh, like water, like juice. That is really good. Or maybe because it's soaked up with the ceviche sauce, it just has so much flavor, guys. Okay, we're halfway through this side. <laughs> okay, our waiter came over and said, you gotta have it with a spoon. That's the Peruvian way. You gotta mix it all up and have fun with it. So I'm gonna jump into this ceviche here. I'm gonna mix it all up. I'm gonna even put like a little bit of the corn and some onions. Oh my gosh, I love salsa criolla. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I love it. Mm. Oh 
my gosh. That is good. That is so... Like, there's this, there is something special about Peruvian spice. They just, like... They just, like, perfected it or something. It has so much flavor, so much lime, salt, and there's a little bit of heat. And then I love the crunchiness of the... I forget what these are called. But I love the crunchiness of it. I didn't even get, tell you how fresh the fish is. The fish is like... fresh like every time you come to ceviche 105 you get nothing but freshness okay we saw that cloth pardon oh the shrimp yes let's try the shrimp let's dive it in into the lime oh yeah that is fresh oh my gosh for me, it is all about this broth at the bottom here. It is so incredible, so limey, so salty. So perfect. Oh my gosh, that is so good. And the shrimp is not like um, where it's too hard or too chewy. It is like perfection. Seriously, guys. Okay, moving on. Let's try this. Look at this. This is a huge claw. I want to put it into the... Sure, sure, sure. Pardon? Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. You can even see the... <laughs> the claw. That's right there. <laughs> okay, let's, let's put it in. I want to get more of that sauce and onions. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh my gosh, that is so good. You taste like the ocean. You taste the ocean with this one over here. His claw is so good. <laughs> that was very, very fresh. And it has, I, I actually don't have lobster very often, but this tastes like completely different than the other fishes. Tastes like more, um, like the king. <laughs> really, really good. I'm gonna mix it now with the other one. Oh, wow. Oh God, that broth is perfect. Wow, guys. Mm. This ceviche is just like insanely good. So fresh, so flavorful. I love Peruvian food. It is so good. <laughs> Okay guys, so moving on to the next dish. Take a look at how pretty this is. Look at that. The shell is super clean. This is now with scallops. It looks like it has butter on there, pico de gallo, some sort of something crispy. Oh wow, guys. I love the shell though. Okay, I'm not really sure how to eat this. I think I'm gonna take it with a spoon. There we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh wow. Oh my gosh, that keeps getting better. When I stuck the juice, it was like the cherry on top. This thing has so much flavor. You get that like saltiness from the fish. The pico de gallo is so, so fresh. There was some sort of like mayo on there that was a little bit spicy. And then I think they had this butter that who knows what kind of Peruvian spice was on there, but that was incredibly good, guys. Like, oh, I wish you guys were here to eat this food with me. It is so good, so fresh. And look how pretty it is. Everything is chopped so perfectly. Wow, guys. When you put it all in one bite though, so next level. Oh. Mm. oh my God. That is so good. Oh my God. That is so perfect, guys. Okay, I can tell you no, Alfonso. 
this is my favorite. Now this is my favorite. <laughs> now this is my favorite. Everything just keeps getting better, guys. The last dish I'm really excited to try. The waiter was telling me that this is going to be nothing like you've ever tasted. Okay, guys, so moving on. This is like the main event of the evening, okay? He says that this is just a bomb of flavor. And there's actually fish in here. It's layered. He thinks I should take it piece by piece just to try. So, let's see. Oh! There is a piece of fish here. Okay, this looks like it has a little bit of everything. Let's try it. Oh my god, that's so... What? What? Oh my gosh, this has like that soya sauce, ginger, and then mayo, and crispiness. This is like a very good texturized dish. You get that softness, you get that crunchiness. Oh my gosh, I love the use of like the soya sauce at the bottom there. Oh my god. What? Guys, that is so good. That has so much like, okay, it's all fish, right? It's all seafood, but everything has its own distinct flavor. This is so rich and like, I don't know, like Japanese style influence. Now, this little fruit thing, he says has a lot of flavor. Try it at the end. So, do you eat the whole thing? Maybe. Okay, guys. <laughs> Wait, I gotta leave a little bit for Alfonso. That's okay. Okay. Okay, let's try it. Oh my god. Oh! There's a nut in that fruit. Oh my gosh! That is so sweet though. Oh my gosh, you're getting that like ginger. You're getting that salty. You're getting that fruit. Guys, this is like such a great dinner. And I haven't even shown you the arroz con pollo. That's coming up next. Okay guys, the arroz con pollo looks so amazing. Take a look. It looks better than I even imagined. You get that green rice on the outside. You get that, look at this. Look at this, it just falls off. Oh God, guys, I just pulled it off. There's not even an ounce of meat on there. That is how tender this food is. And then we have the, I think that's the salsa criolla. Cri 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 uh, I love this one. And then look at the potato. That is with the ají amarillo pepper sauce. Wow, guys, let's go for it. Let's get a little bit of of rice look at tender how tender this chicken is it just falls apart i love it i'm gonna take a whole potato that potato looks so good i'm not sure what that purple stuff is a little bit of that wow guys that looks so good okay i want to just mix it all that meat is just so tender. Get a little bit of everything. Woo! Looks so fresh. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, the rice has so much flavor. You taste that cilantro. The garlic, the lime. The chicken is so, so tender. Oh my gosh. And it is just marinated with that Peruvian spice that you don't get anywhere in the world. Oh, it's so tender, it's so juicy. Mm. Let's have a little bit of onion too. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes. So, those onions just look like freshly cut onions but they don't have that harsh onion flavor because they soak it in water before and then they have lime too 
Okay, I want to try this potato. There's a Peruvian appetizer called like uh, guacaina or something. I'm not sure. There's like a layered potato appetizer that me and Alfonso want to try too. But this looks super good. I wonder what this purple thing is. I wonder if it's olives. Oh, wow. It's olive. Oh my gosh, I love, I love the Amarillo sauce. Oh my gosh. Wow. I should pour some Amarillo sauce all over the rice too. Mmm. Oh my gosh, guys. I love this food. And there are so many more dishes to try. It's unbelievable. Like the Peruvian cuisine, so much more to explore. They even got sushi. They use the wok. Like the wok, um, because there's so much influence in this food. It is so delicious, guys. We are going to sit here and we are going to enjoy this amazing dish. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Wow, guys. That place is like a Peruvian club and the food is so good, so fresh, guys. Let me know in the comments below if I should try more Peruvian dishes. Like this video, subscribe so we can continue making videos for you guys. And on that note, just keep on dancing. Ha, ha, ha.